Hi friends, this is Rakis from Let's Make Learning Simple channel. Now we are going to talk Java about the features. First feature is simple. Simple means uh, code wise and syntactic is very simple. If you are C, C++, you are going to talk about the complex concepts. If you are going to talk about the complex concepts, pointers, operator overloading, and then there complex concepts. But Java is not support for that. There are reasons that you can support for that. In detail, we will see in the next video. Now, Java is very simple and syntax is very simple. It is easy to use. Now, it is object-oriented. Object-oriented is in detail in the next video. Now, it is object-oriented. Inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, and then there are concepts that support for that. Object-oriented programming language. Java is not support for that. That is Java. Object-oriented programming language. Next to portable. Portable is what I am saying. Once Java bytecode, we have Java source code and we have to compile it. Java bytecode. But we have to transfer Java bytecode to easy to transfer system. If you have a friend's system, you can transfer it to your friend's system. You can transfer it to your friend's system. You can transfer it to your mobile system. That is portable. Next to platform independent. Platform independent is in detail and next video. Now we will brief up. Platform independent is what I am saying. Once you have compiled Java bytecode, and the bytecode is in any platform you can run. It will be most of the same output. Next is secured dynamic interpreter. In the next video, we will detail up. Architectural robust. We will do automatic memory manager. Now you have to learn C++ and you have to learn C++. What do you do? Once you have a program, you can do memory free. You can do that manually. Dot, delete, something. But here you can do it automatically. The garbage collection is free. How do you do it? You can do it in the next next video. Architecture Neutron. Architecture Neutron is what I'm saying. If you are learning C++, you will know that there is a 32-bit architecture in a 64-bit architecture in a 64-bit architecture. But Java is not that good. All of them are neutral. Next, I performance. I performance is what I am saying. This bytecode, compiler code, the bytecode is native code is equal. But native code is equal to the more or equal. So, that is what you are saying. The performance is good. But C++ is beat by C++. C++ is the best in the performance. Multi-threaded. Multi-threaded is every example. If you have a mobile game, you can use it at the same time. At the same time, you can use Facebook as a status. This is a multi-process. Multiple processes are at the same time. Now, the same thing is, if you use Facebook, you can use it at the same time. You can use it at the same time. At the same time, you can update the status of the state. At the same time, you can update the video. Multitask. One process has multiple values. One process or application has multiple work at the same time. That is multitask. That is Java support. Distributor. Distributor. Now, you can distribute multiple members, multiple servers. So, if you want to do it in detail, you can use it in detail. Using RGB and RML, you can use it in detail. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, click on the subscribe button and support the video.